recently, over a 10-day period this summer, uh, conducted a series of tests at uh, Yuma Proving Ground in, uh, in Arizona. The name of these tests was called uh, Capabilities and Limitation uh, Testing for the County OAS capabilities that the U.S. Army is fielding. Our Block 2 variant has a kinetic defeat capability. It uses a warhead to defeat small to large UASs. Our Block 3 variant is a UAS itself. It can also defeat small to large UASs, but in addition, it is very capable of defeating swarms of UASs. And it does this using a non-kinetic cutback. We have the highly precise radar, PERS. Now this operates in the KU band of the radio frequency spectrum. This particular frequency range allows for high resolution imaging, uh, very important for tracking small flying objects. PERS can quickly detect, track airborne threats launched at medium to close ranges, and uh, with that very high precision, identify what the threat is and then uh, report that to the command and control structure for then prosecution of the mission. The KU-720 mobile radar is a scaled version of PERS. It's specifically designed for mobile operations. So we reduce the power, the weight, and the cost, enabling PERS to essentially be used in more mobile environments but using the same proven technology for surveillance, threat detection, identification, and tracking. So that's affordable solutions that include sensors, command and control, and effects, such that we're able to detect, track, and defeat all of these kinds of threats all at the same time. So to do that, you really can't use one kind of point solution system. You end up with you know, a layering of defense, a federation of capabilities that you integrate, make interoperable, such that you can efficiently and effectively defend against this very broad and, and complex range of threats.